sans you undertale okay yeah i talk to you i want to talk to you lotad hello hello and behold Oh, so okay, I guess in this dimension, the purple rifts act as roadblocks. Kind of holes in the dimension that I'm sure we will learn more about later. I did some Pokemeals, but I overdid it a bit much. Yes, I would like some. Thank you for a Pokemeal. It's a key item. Is this like a Poke snack in... Like a Poke Snack in Reborn. Like, will there maybe be some Pokemon hiding somewhere? Oh my god! Wow, I've like never had this happen before. Hello, King Jala. Welcome, welcome. Let me search up what you do. How are you? What have you been playing? Booty Raid. Oh god, if you like Booty Raid, you're gonna like what's in the pop out of the screen because <laughs> we like booty here too apparently I'm checking out your channel now and I'll post a link to it da, 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 da. it seems like you've been playing some among us <laughs> not among us <laughs> sorry fallout guys fallout guys or oh, full guys I, I can't believe I called it Among Us. It's because they're all beans. It's all the same to me. Welcome, welcome. We're just playing some Pokemon fan games. Booty Raid is wild. What a what a surprise. <laughs> You're right. It was a good marketing decision. Look at all the Booty Raids we've attracted with us. The Fallout guys does go crazy. It's because I got it mixed up with um a Fallout boy. Which is a band, right? Fallout Boy? And then Fall Guys. Well then, you, you fit in well here. You fit in well. I don't know if it's a good thing, but... There's a lot of Among Us ass here. As you can see by our better Twitch TV emotes. <laughs> you see it, we eat it. I don't know if I agree with that, but sure. Sure. <laughs> We can just ask you when to get both of them. What a what a beauty. Ooh, look at our team is shaping up decently, isn't it? You've agreed with Viola statements before. I tend to stay away from arse eating in general, I feel like. I'm always talking about munching dicks. <laughs> and if you think that munching dicks is Viola, then munching ass, then I don't know what to say. Like, is that misanthropist? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, wait, is it? I want to see this. Let me. Oh, how do I mute the game? Da, 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 da. Pull up that sound mixer. I, I want to see this clip. Okay, game muted. Volume way up. Open it up. Share screen. Let's go. That was so funny. <gasps> he has an Among Us! <laughs> Wait, Snacks are still here. Please be part of this raid. He has an Among Us. He has an Among Us. I repeat, I didn't do this. I, do, I promise you I wasn't in the stream beforehand. He has an Among Us. This is yeah, why I was right. chosen, Wrong. I see. Right. The raid started. That was so funny. <laughs> I see that we both have Among Us in the corner. How beautiful. How beautiful. Two kindred souls. <laughs> yes, Among Us bros. Okay, let's unmute the game now. Da, 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 da. What a beautiful. A connection of two fish swimming in a fish bowl year after year. But, so we talk about the game slightly so Cerubia doesn't get mad when she goes back and watches this. There we go! It's gone! <laughs> the roadblock is gone, but I do not have the path. 
so we can continue. I know, Among Us has been the best marketing decision of forever. And I, I didn't say, do I have the alerts working properly? Oh, they're just so quiet I can't hear them. Oh, Shiny Dendene. Um, thank you so much, Schneck. A little Schneck standing up and not Waltz for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I should say, while we do talk about Among Us quite often, I believe this Pokemon game even fin features plenty of Among Us. <laughs> not the ass, but like statues of the guy or paintings of the guy. Um, the ass being in the corner is quite a new addition. <laughs> it's not it's not a regular feature. So I'm sorry if that disappoints you a little bit. Okay, let me pull up the get get the demon. I'll give you your VIP across your two accounts. Only one of them's getting it. Only mobile's getting it, buddy. Warning you there. Oh his his pogging, his his spending the points. I have not played Pokemon Unbound. I have heard of it. I've heard of it a lot. I think I've seen bits of it from watching um, a YouTuber called My Hero Voltsy. Or just Hero Voltsy. Oh, you want it on the main, not the... Not the mobile? Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I think I can just type it in chat, actually. Right? I can just type slash VIP. N and the sword. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a total of 30,000 channel points. I haven't tallied them up. Yeah, it is. Okay, you're safe. <laughs> oh no, but poor... I guess I still don't understand why you have two different Twitch accounts, but... You do you. You're welcome. You now have a, a pointless diamond next to your username. I hope you enjoy it. I will now hear your team. Thank you, thank you. I wonder if the cave layout is different too. I don't really remember what it's looked like. <laughs> right, right, of course. <laughs> now it's that easy, then I'll just create 10 alts and duplicate my point production. I guess that's true, you could make that happen. <laughs> the reason I only did it for N is that I imagine he only watches it on one device at a time. Really? Oh, you better watch out, Anne. They're gonna be on your ass. We can only find copper in Copium Cave. Copium? Copium Cave? <laughs> if someone says you can find other things, that's a lie. That sounds like Copium if you ask me. Oh, a free item. Two quick balls. I don't need to know how fast you come. This part of the mine is still very new, so we have lots of things to find. Yeah, so I don't think this part of the mine was in, um was in the other dimension. <laughs> oh, I didn't say anything. What are you on about, Kenny? I have to wait for this machine over there to finish what it has to do. Let's battle in the meantime. Right, so you don't even... This is your modern miner. Not even picking up the pickaxe, not even actually doing mining. You just rely on machines. How can you call yourself a worker? All you do is you come here, you breathe in the dust, the chemicals. I can't remember the next line of radioactive. <laughs> I'm awakening? No, that's not it. <laughs> Meanwhile, your machines are the only ones hard at work. All those games about androids revolutions would not be happy with you, minor lady. Making a poor robot do all the hard work. You definitely look like a trainer. Yep. <laughs> Somehow, Amora survives a critical hit. Your defense must be pretty damn good. And we got the step off, but we don't need it. <laughs> Sadly. Ah, uh, Mud Slap. This is what I've been waiting for. Bring it here. Lower the accuracy. A weird looking rock is blocking away. It emits a strange energy. 
A new rift has appeared near you. Oh, not well. So I got news for you. You're talking to like the person who is chronically <laughs> uncompetitive and bad at Pokemon games. I'm happy to listen to a suggestion, but two things make it unlikely for me to play it. One, I do suck at Pokemon games, despite the fact that I play them probably for like an average of two hours a day. Um, and two, I've got like a lot of Pokemon games on my to-do list. Maybe you should look it in the eyes, and even if there aren't any, that's quite a funny little bit of flavor text. I've got a lot of Pokemon games on my to-do list. So, I mean, if it looks good and like something I'd be interested in, it probably would jump up the to-do list a fair bit. Hence why I played that other Dimensions game so recently. But, um, I promise you, I'm not... Oh! Okay, I can play Psychological Horror. I actually quite like <laughs> Psychological Horror. I've been meaning to play a bunch of games called, um... I believe they're called Fear to Fathom, or Fathom of Fear? Fear... Yeah, Fear to Fathom. Which look like really interesting little short horror games on Steam. Oh, Amori! Oh yeah, I've definitely heard of Amori. Um, I've never played it. I've, I've heard it's famous, I've heard it's amazing. Um, I've also heard it's depressing. <laughs> and has... Cuts onto the topic of... Well... Psychological stuff. But yeah, Fears to Fathom, or Fear to Fathom, oh hello little dude here, is just like a... A weird like, um, atmospheric horror game from what I've seen. That's got me very interested. Exca, are you the one who wants a baguette? How many Poke Meals do we get? Sure, I'll give you my baguette. Do you just have an extra drill now? Oh! You just clear rocks. Where was that? Here? And now I get a TM? Or was it in a different part of the cave? 10 out of 10 made me depressed. Yeah, that's a, a common review I hear about Amori. I do want to play it someday because it does seem like a game I'd be interested in. And um, I've only heard fantastic things about it. Same with One Shot. One Shot's a game that I've seen um, on the rise recently. It does look like an interesting game. But instead I chose to play Persona 5 and take up a few months of my life. <laughs> oh, so the Excadrill crossed dimensions. Yeah, am I wrong in saying this, but wasn't Concealed, slightly inspired by Omori, or am I wrong about that? And your Pokemon fan game, Pokemon Concealed. The new part of the cave is so cool. It's way more simple to find the Pokemon I was looking for. The new part of the cave, right? It's been the, the new part of the cave. Right, right, I vaguely remembered that, yeah. <laughs> if I win this one, you'll wear a helmet, right? Oh, you're that mad about health and safety? No, honestly, I've yet to play. I've been wanting to try, but I don't have the money or time. I get that feeling. <laughs> Especially with how expensive, like, AAA games are getting recently. I bloody... I spent $100 on, um... On Unicorn Overlord. And I'm enjoying it. And it's a long game, so it will keep me satisfied. But I do not normally spend that much money on a game. 100 Australian dollars, I should clarify. Um... Not 100 Amer American dollars. <laughs> I would never want to spend 100 American. I would never spend 100 American dollars on a game. But still, 100 Australian dollars is a lot. I'm like, wow. I I don't think I've ever spent this much money on a game before. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, Amori being a nice indie game is very nice and cheap. It's just when I buy games like Unicorn. Overlord. Suddenly I don't have the money for cheap indie games so much anymore. And just in terms of financial state right now, um, I'm moving to Japan soon in in 11 days. 
the timeline is ticking down. I'm very excited for that. But um, because of that, I've had to put a fair bit of money aside just so I can comfortably, com comfortably move to Japan. <laughs> I know it will be a bit sad because all of a sudden I'm no longer going to be using the same servers as Kenny, the New Zealander. Yeah, I should say I got a haircut recently and I'm in my childhood bedroom with Pokemon posters in the wall. So I probably look very young. I am 22. <laughs> I'm not that young. The haircut is not really helping. Um, but my hair was much longer before and I needed to get it tidied up before I went to work in Japan. I was like, this is probably better than turning up to work as a shaggy dog, so... Yeah, despite how I look, I am 22. I am an adult, I have graduated university. That is pretty young, I mean, you're deaf older than me, though. <laughs> I guess young adult, but yeah. What are the... Oh, yeah, 100%. Cassette Beasts is amazing, and if you wait a tiny bit, Co-op is going to, um... I oh, really I can't get that Pokeball. Co-op is going to come out for Cassette Beasts very soon. So you could play with someone. Um, that being said... No, no, Endless, don't... <laughs> don't ruin things. Talk stream, not for a while. And can you not? Were you not here for like ten seconds ago? I'm I'm 22. <laughs> I'd be happy to try to play cassette based. I don't really know how co-op even works. And again, I'd be happy to play um, the list of Eden. <laughs> Look, yeah, no no cock stream for a little while. Not until I'm completely done with streaming. We can do that as our final final stream. Oh, Waltz, sorry. To be honest, I'm still a teen, so I was recently able to get a work permit. I haven't got a gift for summer. You're probably similar to in age to N then. Don't worry, Sauce. I also suck at Jules to Eden. I also suck at Jules to Eden. Oh, Kenny, you are. You're getting good moves. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, probably more than 300 ping. Probably more. Probably like 1,000 ping. We're on the other side of the world. Like, I get 200 ping. Shiny Diglett, look at your little blue noser. What you been doing? Look, like... Cockstream's gonna be... Look, it's a joke, okay? In case any Twitch mods are watching, it's a joke. I do not plan to show my cock on stream. We're actually gonna run away from the Shiny Diglett. Um... But it would be a, a final, final, final stream. <laughs> when I know I'm done with my presence on the internet, when I want to retire from Relic Castle completely and never show my face again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You are a trainer, right? I'm I'm losing track of what's going on. You're just going to die here, Rubble. After 16, I feel like life got harder. i got to find out how to drive a car, decide for the future, got to get a job. Having to do things on your own. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, don't even tell me. I know how you feel. <laughs> it gets even harder when you leave school, let me tell you. In school, you have a whole network of people, assuming you go to a good school, you have a whole network of people who are all there to do their best to try to make sure you succeed. As soon as you leave school, people no longer care whether you succeed or not. <laughs> You're on your own. No one's there to watch over you anymore. You just sit in a dark corner of the world by yourself with no one overlooking you. And the only person responsible for your success or your failure is yourself. And if you fall into a deep, dark hole, no one will catch you. So you can look forward to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, 16 is also pretty hard, especially in America, because... <laughs> Because, um, at least in Australia, while you can get your learner's permit for driving at 16, you can't actually get your full license till you're a full-grown adult. But yeah, like Endless said, I think getting a full license at 16 is crazy. <laughs> True. 
Yeah, all that statement I just said is like only if you actually come from a a school and family that looks after you well. So very presumptuous. Yeah, just gotta make sure you gotta do it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. My team is nearly dead. When did that happen? So I'm back in the normal dimension now. I believe the exit was to the left. This game is kind of cool that with the mechanics of the rift, exploring the overworld just becomes its own little puzzle. I'm basically taking care of my mum now. Yeah, that's very, um, I mean, that's genuinely like just kind of hard, but uh, massive props to you, Endless, because that is something that not everyone's strong enough to do, and the act of caretaking is like a pretty massive undertaking, and not only that, it tends to be pretty thank thankless. You don't really have an audience saying, oh, good job on you, doing the looking after your mum again today. <laughs> the thing, same thing you do every day, as arduous every single day. But yeah, so um, you're very good for doing that endless because it is not, caretaking is not an easy task. All good, all good, no need to stay awake for me, not Waltz. It has been absolutely amazing having you on stream, thank you for dropping by. And um, if you pop by again, I'll be happy to see you. Have a good sleep, and I hope you at least get a good seven or less hours of sleep. Looks like you're getting a call by Professor Espoir from your communication device. Oh, Tom, I finally managed to get your signal back. Oh, I completely didn't realize that we get a little face in the corner. How cute. I don't know what happened, but I lost your signal when you went back to the normal world. When I went back to the normal world, really? I have no idea why this happened, so just be careful, okay? Well, the fact that you have to wake up at 10 a.m. Not 10 a.m. Um, the fact that you have to wake up at 5 a.m. is already scary enough for me. <laughs> I'm scared of waking up at 10 a.m. Endless. <laughs> Sleeping from 10 to 5 is 7 hours. I feel like that's a fairly easy to deduction to make. Maybe it's because I'm so used to 12 hour time and not the 24 hour clock. So I do 12 hour maths quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, physics major, that's it. Don't mind the fact that in physics you hardly ever do an actual calculation. You're just playing with fucking letters of the alphabet. Do you come from somewhere that uses 24 hour time endless? Because that would make sense. I wake up at 10 for Dokapon, yeah, and then I... But I tend to wake up at 10 anyway nowadays. 10 a.m. for Dokapon, have some Vreki, get on the Dokapon at 11 a.m. I have no idea why this happened, so just be careful, alright? Click. Okay, so something is happening with the dimensions that's making it a bit more funky. I believe I forced everyone here already. Yeah, I remember talking to these brothers, and then that was a reference to um Tysera. Yeah, but like how many hours do I get when going to sleep at so that's seven o'clock and that's that's okay, then that's the same, that's seven hours. <laughs> yeah, I think it's hard in 24 hour time for some reason, but I think that's just because I just haven't worked with 24 hour time. So I literally just converted that to 12 hour time. <laughs> Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. See, I'm dumb. I can't do 24 hour time either. That's seven. So what? Then you've got five hours. So it's 10 hours. <laughs> oh, God, what am I doing? I wake up at five, stay in bed for 30 minutes, shower, get ready for school to the bus. 621, get breakfast, try to study for anything upcoming. That's very efficient of you. <laughs> Look, I've already earned it. You can't take it away from me. Again, sadly, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm any better at it. I'm worse when it comes to the actual stuff you have to do in your physics degree. But um, there's a reason I failed so many subjects. But you don't get to do nice clock calculations. They ask you to bloody calculate the electric flux using some flux density, and you're like, what the hell? And the end result is just a number. <laughs> 
Whenever I go to bed, I straight up say, set an alarm for 8 minutes and 30 minutes from now. Really? You set an alarm based off how much sleep you want? That's kind of based. Because the thing that I always dread is when I go to set my alarm, whenever I click the button to set the alarm, it will tell me how many hours the alarm will trigger in. I'll just be like, okay, I'll wake up at 10 a.m., that's not too bad. And then it will be like, alarm set for six hours from now. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> what have I done? I gotta say, set an alarm based off how many hours of sleep you get genuinely sounds like good self care. Efficient if I stick to it, normally any plan I have for myself, I will try to stick to, but fail. <laughs> oh well. Well, speaking of failing your plan, you really ought to head off to bed, Waltz. Yeah. <laughs> Seven hours is not a massive amount of sleep. You should be aiming for eight. It's doable, but I think the worst sleep I ever had for school was the night before Breath of the Wild came out. Because, um, and not just Breath of the Wild, the night before the Switch came out. Because I was set to pick it up from a warehouse that day, and Oh, I was just so excited to play it. <laughs> and I genuinely did not sleep the whole night, so I had to go to school, and I spent the whole school day half asleep, just waiting for it to finish, so that I could uh, hopefully, at the end of the day, play some Zelda. But yeah. Oh, you have an assignment to submit. That's not fun. My week starts off awfully. On Monday, I have to wake up at 6 and be at school at 7.30, and then after school, I have to go to work, get home at 9, and have to wake up... Blah, 5.45 on Tuesday AM and be at school at 7 and then after school I stay for an after school thing and my god I could not do high school again <laughs> oh imagine having a schedule before I realized I could use here I actually had to go to countdown put in 8 30 and it tells me what time it'll be <laughs> that's quite funny that's a very um creative solution Chub Chu, Yu Yu, say you're deaf. Guess that's just another reason why Android is better than Apple. I'm surprised you even have like had enough energy to go through that process when you're half asleep. Because whenever I try to um get ready for bed, I'm already like dead. See you not, well, let's have a good one once again. It's been great having you, and I hope you do genuinely have a good sleep and sleep to your sk stick to your schedule. Chop. <laughs> That's actually so fun, funny. Whenever I try to set my why hasn't Ember been working? Does that chop you have some ability? <laughs> Whenever I try to get ready for bed, I'm already half asleep, and I I try to remember to um, use Pokemon Sleep, but a lot of the time I just get tired. I can't even turn it on because I fall asleep while trying to set the sleep for Pokemon Sleep. I'm glad I'm jobless now because at my last job I had to wake up at around 5.30 to 6 and be at work at 6 30, my god. See, the good thing about the job I ha I'm going to have in Japan, that's um, very suitable for me, although I don't know how much I'm going to like it by the end of it. Um, is that work's going to start at 12pm. <laughs> it's going to go until 9pm, so that's a bit eh. But at least it means like I don't need to wake up at 6am. <laughs> so that's very um, suitable for me, I think. Yeah, well luckily they cut out that animation. I don't know... If you're saying that because you remember me um, complaining about that on Relic Castle. That, that is something I complained about. And they did change it. You no longer have to sit through a whole animation of Snorlax eating his food. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I'd be dying to invent. Why aren't I killing this chub crew? What's been happening? There we go. We did some damage. <laughs> 
Oh boy, we're, we're not working too well here. Maybe I'm gonna die. Maybe I should consider... <laughs> Bit of an inception going on there. Maybe I should consider using one of my potions on Rog and Roller so I can outlast this battle a tiny bit better. God, Mudslap is sucking, but I think we just need to focus on taking care of the... Oh, well, Rog and Roller's dead anyway. My gosh. Yeah, I don't think we're... I don't think Kenny's solo in this. We could revive Amora. Honestly, I don't want to have to backtrack. No, what do I mean? I don't want to have to backtrack. I'm the town is like two steps ago. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I think we do icy win. But I'll guarantee the knockout. Oh, I know. Maybe sorry. We ancient power. There's a chance for us to get the stat boost. But of course we did not get it. And then hopefully we can just take out Chug Fu. There's more! Really? Rog and Roll are more like Rog and Roll here. Um, Aura. What? <laughs> what? I miss it when you spammed Vendor that. Did I just call my Amora Aura? Okay. Yeah, that's a Vendor that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> We're gonna get that to the leaderboard of Better Twitch TV. <laughs> they heard Vendor that and they said, hey, let's render an ad. It's okay, you're probably not missing much because I'm just struggling to knock out this chub food. Leaderboard, leaderboard, leaderboard. <laughs> I was saying we're gonna get leaderboard. No, we're gonna get Vendavat to the top of the Better Twitch TV leaderboard. I, yeah, I try to keep the ads short. I mean, honestly, maybe I should take a survey or something about what is ideal. Because I think I keep it at 15 second ads to every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes. But I guess a 15 second ad must also include under 15 seconds. Hence for 3 seconds. But I'm getting through this game slowly. Do I actually want to... Because genuinely, when I Google it, that's what people say. People say do 3 minutes of ads per hour. But that honestly sounds like hell to sit through. <laughs> Is it not? I, I've kind of got it. I've seen it work with like people who are actually organized. And so just every hour they'll take a break for three minutes and let the ads roll. But that really sounds like hell <laughs> to do a whole three minutes of ads. But like, maybe it's less annoying than having to see a tiny ad every 15 minutes. I don't know. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, Twitch Turbo is honestly, from what I understand, a little bit of a hack. Because isn't that like you get no ads on any channel? You think frequent is more annoying? I'll try to balance it a bit more. I'll have a go. I think if I could do the... Three minutes once an hour, and then actually remember to like take my water breaks when the ad triggers. That would be good. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why Twitch Turbo exists. <laughs> like, why do you need to subscribe to a channel if you just get. <laughs> if you just get no ads anywhere. It is weird. 
I guess more money goes to which? Less money goes to creator? I don't know. Did Ember miss? I didn't even know Ember could miss. Twice? What is your accuracy? Was it a weird hail thing? Did you cast some spell on me, you cheeky, cheeky bear? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you don't hear about Twitch um, Turbo much, I feel like. It does feel like a well-kept secret. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I guess if you're going to subscribe to the channels you watch anyway, you don't need Twitch Turbo. Because you won't be watching ads for them. Works both ways-ish, I guess. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I feel like Cat Form is on its way to one of the most forgettable Pokemon. Like, 3 Gen 5. Oh wow, where are we now? We're asked first. <laughs>